this thing working? Oh, it looks like it is, but it might be, it might be okay. I unplugged my microphone yesterday, so hopefully it's okay. Uh, Nine Amy two six zero four. Thank you for subbing. Um, oh gosh, hi, hello, hi, hi everyone. Hi Eclipse. Hi Bright Eyes. Hi Sammy. Hi Kazzy. Hi Lindor Ferret. Hi Grace. Hi Doodle Dog. Hi Tanuki. Hi Foolish Mars. Hi Annika Potato Flake. Hi Master Dilly. Aqua. Hi Chris. Hi Abby. Hi everyone. Hello and welcome. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm having a horrible day. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm not having a horrible day. I'm having um, I'm having a stressful day, but it's not even really stressful. I just um, got slightly overwhelmed, and that's why I'm I'm late today. Um, long story short, I probably went to bed a little too late. Woke up way too early. Woke up at like seven, which you know, it's not too early, but I didn't go to bed to wake up at seven. But I got up at seven and then I fell back asleep until way later. And it gets really hot in my cabin. And so then it was like hot and gross. And then, um, I don't know if I've talked about this, but like I have been chopping wood. Um, and my neighbor has been helping me. Um, like clear, I'm seeing if I have any scratches left, um, clear like uh, trees up at my house and you stack them up along the road and then the fire department comes and picks them up because they, they don't want dead trees um, on your property because then it's like a fire hazard. Um, but I didn't know for the long, I just knew they were coming in June and I didn't know when and they came today. Jason, bye, thank you for subbing. So they came today and it was like, oh my gosh, this is happening today. Like, not that there's anything I needed to do, but um, so they were out there like, and I mean, I had so much um, wood, like I saved the firewood size, but then I have like little branches that you pile up in these humongous um, piles. I, I might one day put a vlog up about it if I ever start doing my vlog channel again. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I... So I don't know if I've ever talked about, I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I, I truly think I have some kind of, I don't know, I'm used to being in silence, I think. So anytime that there's a lot of noise happening, I get very like agitated. And so the wood chipper was just like kind of going on outside my window for like two hours. And it was like slowly inside of me being like, Oh, like nails on a chalkboard. Um, because all my pets are silent. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if I've ever heard Molly bark, per se. There's Molly. Fab Delight. Thank you for the bits. Um, yeah, Paige was silent. Molly is silent. Um, the cats are silent. I was an only child. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair. Um... So I don't know, I'm just used to it being very, very quiet. Um, I'm used to it being very, very quiet and it was not quiet this morning and it was driving me nuts. And then um, and then I was like, oh my goodness, I have to leave? I'm supposed to be streaming. But the cats were kind of scared by the wood chipper so they were all hiding under the bed. So then I'm trying to like pull the cats out from under the bed but they're like, no, like we're gonna go into the middle of the bed where you can't reach. And so then I'm like getting all hot because it's hot upstairs and I finally get the cats and then um, Florence Kingston. Yes, I someone has told me that the highly sensitive person thing. And I don't know if it is actually like a legit medical thing. But yes, it, it fits me to a T of like multiple noises and loud noises and stuff like that. Um but anyway, then, um, and then Molly lately has just, Molly's here with me. She's sleeping right now, but Molly's just been really clingy lately. And so as soon as she realized that I was getting ready to go, she was like starting to freak out. She was panting and shaking and like trying to like follow me anytime she thought like 
that this was the moment I was going to the front door because I was like putting things in my car and then I was going and like talking to the wood chipper people. Anyway, what are we talking about? Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Did Pip attack my shirt? Yeah, it looks like it, right? He would. Pippi, oh, I should update people on Pippi because he had his surgical consult. Um, I think I was going to do a vlog about that too. I, just, I don't know what I'm doing in my YouTube life right now. Um, but the vet doesn't think that Pippi should have surgery. This is a different vet who specializes in the surgery. And he was sort of like, if, if he's not getting blocked, um, then maybe you shouldn't do it and you should just keep feeding him the food, which is a little bit stressful because then it's sort of like, I can't miss the food. Um, but yeah. So I think Pippi's, Pippi's doing good, but that's what I did yesterday was I took him to the vet. Um, what was it like being an only child? Um, yeah, I don't know. My parents were very good to me and like um, encouraged me to do a lot of like um, different extracurricular things. Hi, Carissa. Oh, I'm so happy. Hi. Um, Oh, I see. <laughs> I was trying to see like what the, yeah, okay. I Sorry, Maddie, I saw the comment that someone called me the laziest YouTuber. I There was a video the other day about like Stampy's channel and like there's just all these comments about like, you know, like your YouTube channel's dying and it's like, I'm just trying to put my head in the perspective of a kid who grows up always wanting to be a YouTuber that like no one ever thinks that someone might purposefully not do YouTube or like have a big channel and then work on a different project. And you know, so that's interesting to think about like all the people who are like, you know, you're not, you're not doing YouTube. And it's like, yeah, I know. Like that's a choice that you can, you can make. Um, Your seven-year-old wants to know if you plan on doing any more Mystic Mesa. Well, I stream Mystic Mesa here. I'm not planning on uploading any more onto my YouTube channel, but I have a YouTube channel where I upload these live streams of Mystic Mesa. So if you go, um, the channel, it's if you just search Stacy Plays uh, streams, then there's a whole channel that has um, probably like a dozen Mystic Mesa streams by now. Show us your island. Oh, yeah. Hi, Kim. Um, Chris, always here to support. Thank you so much, Chris. You're, you've are you been such a support. Um, I did upload a YouTube video the other day, but, um, but yeah, it's really frustrating to get comments of, of, from people who are saying, this is Chai, by the way, which is a bad idea. Um, uh... Yeah. Anyway, okay. I promise that I I promise that I was going to talk about Animal Crossing, and I said that I would have um, a little slideshow. And then this morning, when I was let me put on my other glasses. This morning, when I was um, pulling photos for the slideshow, I I started to think like, oh my gosh, I could probably make a YouTube video with all of these photos because I never realized it, but I took a lot of photos throughout. The game kind of encourages you to take photos too. And I've, I have a bunch of photos and I have video clips too of like anytime something funny happened. And I was like, huh, because if you don't know, I have Animal Crossing on a Switch Lite and you can't transfer them from, you can't transfer your world from your actual console. It's like an Animal Crossing specific thing. So that means I cannot get my world off of a Switch Lite and you cannot stream using a Switch Lite. So the Switch Lite has been wonderful. I fully recommend it if you just wanna play Animal Crossing. It's handled it beautifully. I love just playing it. It's so small and compact, but now that I'm actually like really into the game, it was like, oh, it would be nice to be able to like take people on an island tour 
And so one idea I've been kicking around is like, well, I can buy a regular Switch and then set up an Animal Crossing world on that Switch and then go visit my island. If I have my my Switch Lite here, then I'd be able to go visit my island um, and show you guys it. Uh-oh, it's the black screen, the dreaded black screen. Ooh, did that work? Maybe not. Maddie's gonna come running in here probably. Hold on, let me see if I can like. Do you want me to try to fix it? Do you know how? Yeah. Oh, okay. No offense, but like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it didn't keep working, but. Oh no, because you're on game right now. Oh, I did That's it there why. again. You told yeah. me not to do it there, <laughs> and I did it there. Sorry. Yeah, so if you go down to that okay. one. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, <laughs> That's funny. So. That's one option, is I could get a, um, I could get a regular Switch console, and then, um, and then I could go visit my island and take people on a tour that way. But, it occurred to me today that I was like, oh, I could probably put together a YouTube video from just, like, 30 second clips and photos, and then I could take people on an island tour just saving 30 seconds at a time and then posting them to like my Facebook page and then just downloading them and then stringing them together and voicing over. I don't know why I never thought of it before. Um, but I also kind of don't want to post it onto YouTube because I just know that everyone will just be like, do dog craft. We don't need you to make dog craft in Animal Crossing. Like just do dog craft, um, which I'm going to, but I, so I have a, a little petite slideshow to talk to you guys about today, if you're interested in this. Because um, I promised that I would do it, and then like last week we played Beyond Blue instead of doing Mystic Mesa. Um, and oh my gosh, you guys, Cupquake is playing a game on Twitch called Among Trees. Have you guys seen this game? I don't know what happened. I followed this game a long time ago. And it was, at that point, it was just some, like, concept art, I think. And, like, then there was a trailer. I remember the trailer, and there was, like, a moose. And I got so excited. And then, um, then something happened where I guess I must have unfollowed the game or something. Because I haven't seen any updates on it still. Maybe I was like, oh, this game is still so far out. But, um... But anyway, apparently it's it's on it's in early access now. I do have a moose obsession. Um, it's in early access now, and so I really want to play it. And I was almost tempted to play it today. I downloaded it yesterday. It's on Epic Games. Um, but what I didn't know, I swore the game was like a walking sim, and apparently it's a it's a sandbox survival game. Um, so then that's kind of like a whole other like oh I think I need to like die in the long dark. Not that I'm gonna try to die in the long dark, but like. Maybe I won't start that game until I do, or if I add a Saturday stream or something, um, because it's going to be hopefully a lot of episodes or streams. Um, Epic Games does make Fortnite, yeah, um, but they're branching out, I guess, to play, to, to host other games on their platform. Was it Ooblets that is also going to be on Epic Games, or was that Origin? Was that The Sims platform? I don't know. I normally just get games on Steam. No, I'm not going to try to end the long dark. I want to keep going, but if I, if I die, I don't think I'm going to immediately just start another save on Tuesdays. I think I would, like, try to start this game for a minute, and then if I get tired of this game, then maybe I'd go back to the long dark, or maybe I'd give Stardew Valley a chance or something. But this game is basically like the long dark, it's just slightly cuter. Um, not that the long dark's not, the long dark is a beautiful game, but I wouldn't classify it as a cute game. But Among Trees is sort of like the long dark, but cute. Anyway, let's talk about Animal Crossing, why don't we? So this is my new campground. I say new because I used to have my campground in the forest, but then I realized, 
I realized that I wanted to move my campground like a block and the game doesn't let you move things a block. You would have to pay 50,000 bells, move it somewhere completely different and then pay 50,000 bells to move it back the block that you want to move it because you can't like I don't think well maybe I didn't try but like I think that that's how it would have had to have happened so I was like you know what I'm gonna have to move it why don't I try to see if it lets me move it onto the beach in this one particular area um because that could be cool and then if I don't like that then I'll move it back the little block that I wanted to move it back to oh it's a black screen for someone that's awkward because that actually might be the case Um, it's fine. Okay. So I like it on the beach. This is my little beach campground. I've got like a little lawn chair and a cooler and a fire. Um, but then if I scroll here, is this going to work? Okay. So this is my basement. As you can see, it is Mesa themed and I have one side of it, which is kind of just devoted to exercise equipment. And the other side is like household, like things that you would put in your basement, like a tool chest and a freezer and like a washing machine. This is purely not like my ideal design. It's just that I have to now, I've done all the upgrades in my house. And so now my house is huge and I have to decorate it all so I can get that dumb S achievement so that I can then, um, so that I can then uh, get more Nook Miles, so that I can then go on little tours to get the villagers that I want. So this is just another, oops. This is just another view of my rock climbing wall. I'm still trying to make it look cool though. Like even though I don't really like particularly want a gym in my house, I still am gonna try to like make it look cool. Um, this cracked me up and then Maddie told me that Stampy has already made this joke, which is, I think it's funny because I don't have any clothes in my freezer. There's meat in the freezer, but it's apparently a wardrobe. Um, speaking of Teddy, Chris, Chris was like, Teddy would love it because Teddy is a jock. Teddy, this is what I, this is a particular part of my island that I call leaving beach because everyone who wants to leave comes down to this beach and goes, I don't know. And then you click on them and then they're like, I want to leave and it breaks my heart. So I just was in a huge rut. You can kind of see my map there in the corner. I was in a huge rut where every single day, I've been looking a lot into like the mechanics of like who wants to leave and when. Every single day, Teddy, Marina, or Melba wanted to leave. And Teddy and Marina and Melba are the ones that I want to stay for all time. And so I kept every day, Every day it was those three. Shep wanted to leave a couple of weeks ago, like almost like a month ago, and I told him no. So then he won't want to leave again until someone else leaves, apparently. And then Pinky, I do also want to leave, but she was the most recent person to come to my island. So she's not going to want to leave either. This is what I've gleaned from like data miners. So supposedly every day you're supposed to have a random chance of one person wanting to leave, but it really was stuck on like Teddy, Marina, Melba. Every single day, it was like, who's it gonna, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Teddy, Marina, Melba. And it was like, come on, Pashmina, Eloise, Hornsby, any of you guys wanna leave? Um, so finally, yesterday I was like, I've had enough of this. I've had like two horrible weeks of my favorites wanting to leave every single day. So I just told Teddy to stay. So now apparently it's going to do a cool down for like five days where no one will want to leave for five days. Oh, I wasn't getting campers either. Nothing was happening. It was like, it was a really weird thing. Like I was stuck where um, it was just Teddy, Marina and Melba and I didn't want any of them to leave because I hate Pinky with all of my soul. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of going for like a Minecraft version of Animal Crossing. Uh, so this is like uh, my taiga forest with Podzil. So it's ironic. I should just play Minecraft, but I'm trying to bend Animal Crossing to my will and make it into Minecraft. Um, so yeah, my I've overloaded my island with cedar trees and my it's just my aesthetic of making a taiga with Podzil. <laughs> uh, so yeah, those are my pathways that are very Podzily. 
this is a foreign language to me, but I'm enjoying myself. I know, right? I've gotten way more into this game than I thought I would. Um, all right, let's see what else. This is Shep. He's he's my all-time favorite. This is his house. I have given him a little pizza oven. He's a renaissance man, a renaissance dog. He he can walk, and yet his eyes are not visible. Um, but I love him dearly, and he's never leaving. Um, this is the little picnic area that I made with a little trick that I found out about, which is that you customize the beach towels to, like, your picnic blanket area so that you can like lay there this is my kitchen um it's a rainy day when i took this picture today it's weird how much it's like my actual cabin in the sense that i have a red fridge um that was just the fridge that came up for me the first time but like i said i'm just trying to get the s level designer thing um so that's why I was like, okay, I'm just going to put every kitchen item that I have in my kitchen and hope it looks good. Um, and I think it does. I wish I, I have videos that I have of like doing a spin, but I didn't, I didn't download them because I was like, it's shoot, it's already five. Um, how's my fourth book going? Thank you. Um, it's, it's going so well. Um, it's almost done. In fact, I got my illustration sketches the other day. Oh, no, I have to send that email. Um, oh, no. Uh, yeah, I um, I got back my illustration sketches, and so then I have to provide feedback for them. My kitchen has good vibes. Thank you. There's a little dog bowl for Molly. I've got some cookbooks, and yeah, no, I like it. I'm happy with the way the ki the kitchen's probably my favorite room. I don't think I have any of the other rooms. This is the plot where I want Daisy to live. I have like plotted it out and everything. I'm just waiting for her to go villager hunting. Um, I kind of made like a flower forest. Of <laughs> This is more about me just making Animal Crossing into Minecraft that I have a flower forest. Um, but I needed to plant a lot of flowers for Nook Miles as well. And I don't like when people just like people put flowers everywhere on their island to me. And it's like you can't walk anywhere. So I wanted to just create a designated area of my island. I think I have a big map somewhere. Oh, this next one shows you how many Nook Miles I actually have. So I have 165,000. And in my inventory, in my possession, I already have 25 tickets. So I have 25 tickets plus 165,000 Nook Miles, which you can... Um, OMG, see, people know. People know. Thanks for the bits. Um... I've been grinding. I've been on that Nook Miles grind. Um, so I don't know. What's 165,000 divided by 2,000? That's how many tickets I have there. And then I also have like plus 25. How? Well, I have the 25 tickets because every time I do these daily tasks, if there's one that will give you like 500 Nook Miles for redeeming Nook Miles. So then I just go buy a Nook Miles ticket and then... I get 500 Nook Miles for doing that. Um, and I just like, I just, yeah, I grind it out. Like I do the things where you can like, like see you get like 150 for chopping 10 trees and like, you know, catching bugs and stuff. So I just strategically wait for the daily ones. But like I said, I did the whole like flower thing, the fishing thing. I fished a hundred times perfectly. Um, you're so impressed. Oh, good. Thanks. Uh, okay, so this is my island. Controversial decision. I have not upgraded my museum. I... <laughs> oh, I don't think I have the picture. I have the picture of me giving Blathers some fossils and I'm in a cute little scout outfit. The inside of his tent, they shouldn't have made it so cute. I think that the inside of Blathers' tent is the cutest thing ever. And so it's like, sorry, you're not getting a big museum. Um... I'll go visit my friends' museums. Yes, Eric would be perfect for my theme. I do want Eric very badly. Um, out of the villagers that I have, I love Shep. I don't like Pejmina anymore. Pejmina and Teddy were my starters, and I like Pejmina, but I don't love goats in general. 
So I've decided the Pashmina can go. I love Marina. I love Eloise. I love Melba. I hate Pinky. Hornsby's really sweet, but he could go too, because like a blue rhinoceros just doesn't really fit in the taiga. Eloise and Melba are kind of in like the bamboo section of my world. Um, you like the museum? No, the museum is cool. I just think I was overwhelmed um, by, I like I just like the tent and it's like it fits in really well. You can see I put things in a really dumb place. I put Blathers' tent like right in between my town hall and my airport. And now you cannot move Blathers' tent. <laughs> I've learned some things by only keeping Blathers as a tent is that you cannot move a building until it's in its final, like I can move, I could move Nook's Cranny if I wanted to, but, and you could move the museum, but since I don't have a museum, you can't just move Blathers' tent. It's very sad. So I'm gonna have to like design around that. Um, can you see my mouse on the screen? Can you guys see? You can, can't you? Right now? Let me know if you can see my mouse because I wanna like mention that you can, okay. So my house is up here. I have Shep's house right here. This is Teddy's house. This is where Pinky lives, but I would like um, Pinky to move and I'd like Eric to. I want villagers who have log cabins because Teddy has a log cabin and obviously like I want to have a log cabin. Um, Eric has a log cabin. Molly the duck has a log cabin. Like that's a big factor in who I want on my island. Um, this is where Melba and Eloise live and I have a bunch of bamboo trees. This is where all my flower forest is, is up here. So you can see my campground was right there, like my little picnic area. This is all flowers here. This is all flowers. This is where I want Daisy to live. And then down here, I think is where I want Molly to live. Maybe like another woodland villager. I might eventually move the Abel sisters into the woods too. It really depends on how many cedar trees the game is gonna let me grow. Marina is down here, Hornsby is right here, and Pejmina is right here. And like I said, I want Pejmina to move and Hornsby. But I love Hornsby, he's so sweet. He's the sweetest. Um, okay, the villagers that I want, in no particular order, is Apollo. He's a cute little eagle. Um, although, what is Apollo's personality? I think I only want him because I have the whole podzel pine tree thing happening. And so like Apollo would look cool walking around, but like I would be okay if I didn't get Apollo, but if I ran into him, I would take him. Um, how do I, I need to like move on to another person now. Next, oh no. What have I done? Because I've, I zoomed out. Daisy, I really want, because I had a dog named Daisy as a kid. Um, and I think she'd be really cute. Uh, I want all the dogs. I want like foresty creatures or dogs, because it's me. Um, B, now the th cool thing about B is that Maddie has B and Maddie has said that she will give me B. Hey Stacey, woo Animal Crossing. Thank you for subscribing. Um, B is the cutest dog in my opinion, but like Shep is also adorable too. But I'm gonna have B eventually, which I'm very excited about. Um, this is Bones and I think he's really cute and I would gladly take Bones as well. There's some dogs that I don't like the eyes of and there's some animals in general that I just don't like Maddie, okay, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but Maddie thinks that I look like this dog, which, come on. Like, okay, I have freckles and I have, I have brown ear hair, but that's it, right? Right? Um, you low-key see it? Mars, you low-key see it? Okay, okay, we're moving on. Um, okay, this is Bones, and I would gladly take him. Eric, it's happening. I need Eric in my life. In my taiga, Eric has to be in there. 
he's the cutest and I love Moose. So this has to happen. Um, Fauna, I want, but then also like, I don't like that I want all of the people that everyone else wants to. Like Marina and Molly the Duck and Melba. But like, I kind of do want Fauna eventually. Cause it's just like, I have a forest, you know what I mean? What's her house look like though? Oh my gosh, what does Fauna's house look like? Um, can I open like a new window or is that gonna open a new window on my, I'm gonna open a new window here that you guys can't see, okay. Animal Crossing Houses. Mm, I just wanna see what Fauna's house looks like. Okay, it's not a log cabin, but it's not awful. It's like one of those weird pointy houses. I think that's what Apollo's house looks like too, am I wrong? I know way too much about this game now. No, Apollo, oh, I don't like Apollo's house. It's very neighborhoody. Yikes, guys, yikes. Does anyone care about this? Are people still watching? Um. Goldie I like as well, but there's something about the eyes too that are weird. I think I'd want to give her glasses. Um, so I'm not like, like Goldie I would like, but I'm not like, I have to have Goldie. I don't even have to have Daisy really. I really just want dogs and woodland creatures. Ketchup, I don't know why I want, but it's just the cutest duck ever. And Mars got ketchup. And I'm sad. Um, she's so cute. She's just so cute. But I might not get ketchup because I really want Molly because Molly lives in a log cabin. Oh, this is Lucky. He's a mummy dog who I would 100% accept. Because um, he's a mummy dog. And then this is Molly the duck who oddly I think looks like Molly my dog. And she has a log cabin, so I really want Molly. Like, ketchup just doesn't really feel like she belongs in, like, a, a forest. So I don't know. And then I kind of want Sparrow because I think he's really cool. I like his colors. And no one, I've not heard of anyone who wants Sparrow, and that makes me want him because, um... Because everyone is like, yeah, I have Melba. Oh yeah, I have, I love Marina. I want Marina. Um, everyone wants kind of Molly the duck. Everyone wants ketchup. And so it's like, oh, I want to be different. I don't want to just have, his eyes are terrifying. I agree. I agree. <laughs> but I think he's cool looking. I, I really want Sparrow. So that's, I think that's it. That's it for my Animal Crossing tour. What'd you guys think of my little slideshow that I promised you? Um, mm, Freckles, I think, is really cute. If I ran into Freckles, it would be very hard to leave Freckles the duck. Um, but I really have to think. I'm not going to have, like, three ducks. Cutie Quinn, thank you for subbing. I have to have Molly the duck because I really want my taiga to feel like a, a forest with log cabins and teddy has a log cabin eric has a log cabin and molly has a log cabin there's other villagers that have log cabins too but like those are the cute like they all kind of look the same um i don't look like i don't look like be the dog i mean she's cute though so like i'll take it i will take it um, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's my Animal Crossing life. I'm making a taiga, I'm making dog crafted Animal Crossing, basically. Um, and then eventually I'll just start filming dog craft videos again, I promise. Um, my YouTube comments didn't come back, you guys, we just set comments like I just set beyond blue as not a kids game because it's not it I don't think it it was um so if you look at my channel now I think comments are back on like long dark and games like beyond blue because it's it's not necessarily for kids but I don't take that 
lightly. Like I, I like to mark almost all of my videos as for kids because like my channel I feel like is for kids. But it occurred to me that truly Beyond Blue is is not for people under 13. Not that it was scary, but it was very like the all the educational moments and like it was obviously a game that was made for teens and up, I think. I think it's a game for all ages, but I don't think that it's a way, like, I don't think it was a video in the sense of, like, Roblox or Minecraft or, like, Animal Crossing, which are games that are kids' games. <gasps> Molly, hi! Come here, everyone say hi to Molly. Oh, my mouse. Say hi. Say hi. Mm. Molly needs a bath. Oh, you wagging your tail? Say hi to everyone. You're on lot. You're on Twitch. Most animated dog ever, right? funny um she has a lot to say yeah no she's she's the diva she's the little diva um I finally found a food that she likes which is exciting because for a while she was like on hunger strike because she just didn't want to eat food um so now if I say game will it go to minecraft I've had two chais today And I slept in till noon. It's not good. It's not good at all. Um, hello, Mystic Mesa. How long are we going to play Minecraft? Honestly, probably not long because I just... Um, it's, already, it's already so late. It's already usually when I'm like wrapping up my stream. So probably not long. It, yeah, if you have one of the villagers that I just said in boxes, feel free to tweet me a picture of them in the boxes. Uh, and I will come to your island and get them for sure. <laughs> Maybe. No, not for sure. But like it, it has to do with um, it's all very weird. The timing situation like you have to have them in boxes when I have like a, a plot open. And and like I said, I've been um, saving up so many tickets to go villager hunting that I'll probably just do that. Um Wait, it's also Mystic Mesa? Of course it's also Mystic Mesa. I love me some Mystic Mesa. I don't actually even know what we're doing in the game right now. Like, what have we been? I'm underwater. Oh, yeah, I'm on seaweed. No, am I on seaweed? Who am I, who am I riding right now? Posey? Yeah, Posey. Sorry, Posey. It was because I wasn't sure if this was going to work, and I decided that you were the hippocamp of all of my hippocamps, that I wouldn't mind, like, I would mind if you died, but I would be more sad if seaweed died. Sorry. Um, we're making a, a, a jail for my mosasaur, and I, I really like the idea of doing every other. So this is tragic, because how much nether wart or quartz? We have a lot of quartz still. It's tragic because I already did it over here where it's like totally walled off. So that's unfortunate. Um, and here too. Shoot. Okay. Well, it's whatever. Do I have a shovel on me? Yeah. Um, I'm going to break these. And I guess we're going to just work with what we have. Maybe eventually I'll be like, you know what? I just want to get all reinforced sand and do all of it in just the prison kind of style. Um, but for now, we're going to not do that. 
okay. Whoops. Okay. I need to terraform this though in a nice way where like I have 30 dirt. Okay. Why am I, why is my swimming weird? I feel like my swimming is really weird with like squid pet or something. Um, I'm just filling this in so that it looks intentional. Uh, and hopefully, um, hopefully ocelot pet and squid pet. I have 11 raw fish. This is the way, okay. So Ocelot Pet wants cooked fish. And in my feed bag, I have only one more cooked fish. So I'm gonna need to go cook some more fish for Ocelot Pet, but then Ocelot Pet and Squid Pet really kind of work well together. Um, won't the water dino just break those blocks though? Supposedly they will not break the reinforced because I'm combining sand with um, nether quartz. Suppo like yeah, something really weird is happening with my controls. I feel like um, because I'm combining sand with nether quartz and making reinforced sand. I mean, I don't know. I'm hopeful that that means that they can't break that. Might they still, might the Mosasaur still might be able to mosey on out of this prison? Yeah. I'll deal with that when it happens. That's why I'm starting with an underwater carnivore and not the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm not just going to like leash, unleash Tyrannosaurus. Like if the Mosasaur breaks out and like goes away, then great. He's just going to swim away. Whereas the T-Rex could get out of his pen and then like just kill everything that I've worked to build in this world for the last, like since 2014 or 2016, I think is when, gosh, man, 2016, what a year. Um, anyway, so I'm going to just add in, so I'm getting all of this sand because I'm, I could get the sand just from on the beach, but if I get the sand here, then I'm really just creating more swimming area for the Mosasaur. Um, if you're just joining, this is uh, an iceberg that I built for my woolly mammoth. Uh, thank you so much for all those bits, Jax. Um, anyway, so that's that's the deal here. Yeah, so I mean, eventually I kind of want to get rid of this whole thing, but for now, I think it looks good to keep it, plant some seaweed around, you know. Um, so then, yeah, if I take this with the quartz. Okay. Oh, give me that quartz back. So, yeah, so we're continuing. Where did Posey? Okay, Posey's up there. Ooh, this is a weird. Is there a lantern here? Or why is this like this? Do I have any. I don't have any stone on me. But I could put a piece of sand here. Nope, the reinforced sand. F I knew that too, didn't I? The reinforced. Sorry, it's been a villain. My render distance must be really high right now that I can see that. Uh, okay. Okay, don't need, I don't need flesh on me right now, oddly. You might think I do, but I don't. If the T-Rex got out and destroyed everything, I would be angry Stace emote. I would too, honestly. I'd be very, very sad, which is why I think I'm not ready to, to spawn in the T-Rex. Um, ooh, I don't love that there. 
I'm going to put the block of ice there. Um, okay, so I'm going to just finish this hole because it bothers me and I'm not going to take it all the way down. So there we go. Uh, and then let me come down here. Is this? Do you break it with a pickaxe? How hard is it to break? Reinforced sand, dense sand. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've tried to break one of these yet. My gosh. Hi, squid. Okay. The goal for today in Mystic Mesa really would be to finish this in a way where I could actually unleash the Mosasaur again. The T-Rex is really evil in 1710? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Um, but I, I was using Posey so that I could actually like maintain a position in the water, which I think is actually a really good use of the hippocamps. So I'm gonna try that again as soon as I just sort of like get rid of all of these. Is this, am I doing this wrong? Like this just seems crazy that it takes this long to do this to the dense sand. Okay, um, let's grab Posey. And then, oh, why can't I, I have to have an empty hand, really? Posey, come here, Posey, Posey. Why can't I ride Posey right now? What the heck? Should I re-log? This has never happened before. Posey, okay, I'm gonna re-log. Okay. She's glitched? Yeah, she's like, okay, here, ow, there. Okay, so if I come over here now, um, and I take the dense sand, I can do this. Ooh, I didn't check to see if there's seaweed underneath here, like I should have. Oh yeah, okay, that, we're good. Um, Wolf Girl, thank you for gifting a sub to Spirit Wolfie, that's so kind. I should have more shirts and hoodies on my website. Yes, I agree. We have some on Amazon, if you haven't seen those, there are some on Amazon, um, so go check those out if you just search Stacy Plays on Amazon. But yeah, ideally, we have a bunch of posters, but ideally we'll eventually get more shirts and hoodies. That's kind of the dream. Um, okay, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna grab this seaweed, although actually, no, I don't need to grab that. Um, there, I want this guy. All right, Posey, come back. And now I have to remember how to go down on a horse. It's like, is it V? Nope, that's up. Oh, no, it kind of sunk us. Nope. Was it X? Was it shift? No, it's not shift. Was it Q? Oh, I just threw my pickaxe. Oh my gosh, where'd my pickaxe just go? That was my silk touch, I think. You see, I like launched my, oh, there, I got it. Um, see, I don't remember where to go. C, it's C. Yeah, it's C, thank you. Uh, okay, so then this allows us to come over here. Really, if I wanna do more underwater building, this is fantastic. And then I can launch the dense sand like this.
Um, was I not breaking gravel and sand with a shovel? I, wa I was. I've been using a shovel. I'm just not using the shovel on the dense sand. Um, because I was worried that it was needed to be a silk touch thing situation. Uh, okay. We're almost done with this stretch, but I think we're going to need more nether quartz, unfortunately. Also, <laughs> this might not line up. I didn't even think of that. Was that it for our dense? Yeah, look at this. It doesn't line up. So I'm going to do a row of just regular sand, I think. Here. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So... Oh, look at this. There's a little hole over here. This keeps happening. Whoa, that caught me by surprise. It's apparently a thunderstorm right now in Mystic Mesa. Oh my gosh. Really? Whoa. Look at that. That melted right there too. Why? Why can't you be ice? Is there a lantern there? Um, my iceberg is melting. Uh, wow, I did not know that it was, ah, sorry, sorry, Posey, sorry. Um, yeah, it's a thunderstorm. We have so, we need so, oh my gosh, we need so much more sand. And I have six pieces of quartz left. Okay, here's another stack though, it's just in the, how do I get rid of this thing? No, no. I just took like a zombie spawner. What is happening? Let me off, Posey. Okay, we have another stack of dense sand to work with. Another, th there, three. Um, my gosh, I was like, what? Milk toast? What? Was that a Minecraft cat in, was that a Twitch noise or was that a Minecraft cat in, did a cat just, oh, ocelot pet, sure. Did it just get nighttime? What is happening? Oh, because I have a night vision. All right. Quickly, Posey, you're not a fast swimmer. We are going, Ocelot Pet is hungry. Look at him. He's like, feed me. Feed me. Yes, Ocelot Pet. Yes, you will be fed. I believe I have some Furni over here. I need to get that penguin back up on the... I haven't even said hi to... Um, to, to good old cashew. Hi, cashew. Oh gosh, what did you just? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, you almost killed Posey. Are you okay, zombie wolf? Are you okay, Posey? Oh, you're 100%. Um, okay. Uh, no coal, no coal, no coal. Fantastic. Really just fantastic. Um. Do I have anything that burns? Okay. Oh, look at all the sand we have. Fantastic. It's just quartz. Is there any pet that gives you quartz? I don't think so. I don't want to go back to the nether. I hate the nether. Oh, I forgot about this guy. We were going to put him with my, uh, yes, we were going to put this guy with my ore sheep, but we have to name tag him. Is there anything else that I can get rid of so it's not in my inventory? How's Cashew doing? Living his life. Living his life on his iceberg. Ah, oh, he loves it. He doesn't want to share it with any penguins. Um, Posey? Okay. Let's grab the cooked fish. Ah! Okay. It's not ideal at all. But we do have iron nuggets. So anvil pet 
do your work, do your job. Um, all right. I should maybe try to sleep and see if that'll get rid of the rain. Oh, I don't want to go back to the nether. Okay. Ocelot pet is full. So now Posey, let's go back down. Oh, poor lonely penguins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably, um, oh, thank you, Ocelot pet. Um, I will probably, can I not do that when I'm, okay. I will, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was talking about. Something about getting this done. Don't even know. Okay. So now that we're doing the every other, it will take less time. What was up again? Is up V? Yeah, up is V. Okay. It will take less, but there's really not a good way to know if there's seaweed underneath where I'm going to drop the sand. Looks like we're okay for a minute. Well, actually, I didn't, I, shoot. I shouldn't have put this one here because this is regular sand and that's also regular sand. So I might just have to, do you know what we could have done too? If we, no, I was gonna say we could have done it every other one, but I don't think so. I can see Cashew up there, that's so cute. Oh, okay, Posey, let me off. Because I think we need to come down here. Or no, I should have just used Posey because now I have to, oh, this is working. Ah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Because I just need to do this, I didn't think this through. Come back to me, Posey. I guess Posey doesn't get the speed from the squid pet, unfortunately. That would have been cool. Um, all right. <sighs> Wait, it can fit through one block? I doubt it. Maybe right now as a baby? But if it grows up, but maybe right now as a baby, yeah, I might have to actually, that's a good point. As a baby, it might be able to, and I would have to then do something. This is weird. This is a weird thing that's happening right here. Um, I feel like he could eventually get beached right here if I don't like break this. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Why does this keep happening? What? Were those ice blocks? Did I? I maybe I did that. I might have done that on um, on purpose, just for like my terraforming situation, but it looks weird for- <gasps> No! Golden lasso, golden lasso, no! No, 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 no! No, who's in this? That's the Mosasaur! An owl? Oh no! It's an- Is there an owl in here now? Slime bike, what? Oh my gosh, what is your health at? 27%. I said you could die and I jinxed you. I don't actually want you to die, Posey. Oh my gosh. What is happening right now? My night vision's like wearing off. That was <sighs> two hearts. Oh, she's is she healing? Po okay, Posey's healing. Phew. <laughs> uh, 
That was scary. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. Um. What? There. Okay. Let's. I really, yeah, that's a really good point about the Mosasaur. Possibly, is that an elephant? Oh, that was Cashew. <laughs> um, it's a really good point about him not being big yet. I don't really know what to do about that. Oh, this is weird looking right here. Okay. Ink. Oh my gosh, the... No. You're gonna die. You're gonna die today, Posey. Just stay over there and heal, okay? Um, it's my fault. Um, okay, the inventory is weird when you have, when you're on the hippocamp. Uh, okay, no seat. Well, let's just get rid of this guy just in case. Nope, I shouldn't do it this way. I should, well, it doesn't matter. Darn it, I did a wrong block. Uh, Yosef, thank you so much for subbing. Um, oh, where'd all my dense sand go? That might be it for dense sand. We have to go back to the nether. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go to the nether. Is my nether song? I didn't do the Mystic Mesa music ever. weird. I'm going to fill that in. All right. All right. This also looks weird now. I'm filling this in too. Thank you, Hallie Plays. Love your stream. I tune in every week. Well, thank you so much, Hallie. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be so cool looking once it... Wow. Once this is done, like, this is cool. I'm actually proud of this. I'm proud of it in advance. Um, what I'm not proud of is what's about to happen in the nether because I think I'm gonna die. What do we even need? Like, ugh. I what I need is, did I ever make a nether teleport area that I can just like get into the nether quickly and then TP to? I mean, we're doing it. Gosh, what? Ah! I'm on fire. I'm walking on lava. This could be worse. Nope, couldn't be worse. Land! Oh my gosh. I'm on fire again. You're kidding. I brought the Mosasaur with me. I should let this owl go so I have a golden lasso free. That would be mean, but I should. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My whole screen just glitched. Are we okay? Are we okay? We're here for quartz and quartz only because I'm about to die.
Oh my gosh, those guys. Those guys hate me. Uh, Brandon, thank you for subbing. I finally remembered to resub. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, okay, we have a diamond pickaxe. Let's get the ice away from our inventory, uh, our hot bar. We have sandwiches. I don't need squid pet right now. Nether portal pet to take me away if things get bad. I have 21 arrows. Quiver pet is sad because quiver pet has no feathers to eat. Who, who, who? Okay, what biome in here would have the most quartz? Also, we spawned near a ship and like I haven't been to it. Seriously? Seriously. I haven't um, been to a ship since um, since I've kind of started paying more attention to fossils and archaeology, but like they have crazy things on them that can like put us into other dimensions. Um, I just don't know, like, uh, like should I TP to one of my death spots? Cause like I just don't even see any quartz. Oh, I hear another ghast. Okay, let me try not to... Okay. Okay, the good thing is, is we have a good bow. That's the good news. In our life today. The bad news is, is I think this is... There's so much quartz on the ceiling. We're like in a weird... We're like in the bottom of the nether. I don't think this is... Well, actually, that's not true. What? Why am I at... Y71? Yeah, I think that we're in a weird bottom part of the- Oh my gosh! You terrified me! Hi! Hello, nether wolf. Uh, here's some quartz. Don't run into lava. Don't run into lava. Yeah, I think we're in a weird- Do I still have night vision or something? Or is it just these blue light glasses that are making it impossible to see I should still keep Ocelot Pet. Oh my golly! <laughs> All right, we're good now. Um, okay, so what we need here, you, sir, are in the wrong spot in your life. Oh yes, this flesh forest. We were here last time and I, I rather enjoyed it. But um, we just need somewhere that's quartz rich is what we need in our life. Ooh, what flower is this? How lovely. Ah! A burning blossom, of course. Um, gosh, I'd love to go on that ship. I should have brought like an ender pearl or like something that, like a bat bike. Let's come into the forest. I feel much safer in a forest in the nether. Um, because we just need quartz of some kind. Ah! Aha! I have found quartz, guys. I have found much quartz. Do you guys have any questions for me? Because I feel bad that I'm on this never ending Mystic Mesa quest for an iceberg slash Mosasaur tank. We will eventually get back to Stacy's wolves and exploring using nature's compass. But for now, I'm finishing this project because that's, that's what I always do in Mystic Mesa, right? Is I start projects. What am I looking at right now? Is that like a death marker or is that just Oh, no, I use Silk Touch. Why didn't you guys tell me? Change your pickaxe. You're using Silk Touch. Sure. Do you get more quartz if you use a fortune pick? Or does that just work for diamonds? Is that lava? It just looks weird and it looks neon green with night vision. Yeah, it's lava. It's a mushroom over there. Um, seriously, th this fortune pickaxe thing. What is a slime torch? Do I own a slime torch? 
Um, did I look at Twitter? No. What's on Twitter? Um, Fortune works on quartz. Bree, thank you. I should maybe keep using my silk touch and then try to get a fortune pick and pick all of, like, pickaxe all this at my house with a fortune pick so that I can maximize my quartz. Do you know what I'm saying? I really should because I have. How do I not have a single level? Is that a mistake? I mined some quartz with a regular pick when I got here. How do I have no levels? I mean, I like I probably died, but that's impossible. I'm, but I might have a bunch of bottles of enchanting at my house. How do I not have any levels? Can we get to that ship from over here? There's like several, there's a whole fleet. Now I've been here though. <gasps> Do you guys think if I could jump to one of those vines, I could like ride the vine down? Oh my gosh, my legs feel tingly. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Whoa. Um, there's not quartz down there. I should stick to the ceiling up here. For quartz. In fact, I should try to find a way up even more. Don't run into lava, don't run into lava, don't run into lava, don't run into lava, please don't run into any lava. I hate lava. Lava in the nether moves so fast. I actually didn't verify. I might need to make a turn here. To get where I oh there we go, great hi. Um, <laughs> guys, I am using Silk Touch for a reason. I want to use. Oh, I mean, I shouldn't have been using it on quartz right there, but I Anvil Pet is healing the Silk Touch, but I want to use the Silk Touch because I now want to take the quartz back to the Overworld and lay it all out in my world and get a fortune pickaxe. Oh my gosh, seriously? How am I not hitting you? Sorry that had to happen to you. Um, but we're in a good spot now. If we, like if this was quartz instead of glowstone, my gosh, like this is ideal for quartz finding because we're so close to the ceiling. Um, yeah, I'm using the the silk touch now because if I fortune pick it at home, then I will get much more. I don't know if I, I might have a fortune pick in my house. But if not, I can try to do it on the enchanting table if I have some bottles of enchanting, which I believe I do. Um, try to get a fortune pick and then get more quartz so I can make more dense sand with my more quartz so that I can finish this iceberg project. Do you guys get it? Um, Alexa, thank you for the bits. What does it mean? I got emotes thanks to Alexa. Um, where I saw some more quartz, I thought. Ooh. This is the ideal quartz hunting location that we have found. I'm very happy. Okay. I'm doing great. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. 
I hope you guys are doing great too. These are stressful times. Uh, all right. How many stacks of cords before we go home? I think two. We already have one. So maybe two and a half. Ugh. Although this was like the ideal place to find quartz. Did I not find all of it? Should I keep going this way? Yes. What's this? This is good. The old nether looks so gross. Do you know what? I should change the texture pack. I should change, I should put it, Maddie, let's update Mystic Mesa to the new textures. I don't know how I haven't even thought to do that. Um, it won't fix every block because there's blocks probably that, no, it probably will. Um, cause we're in the process of trying to get new, cause it's like the netherrack wolf would not be, wouldn't look like netherrack anymore, but I want to try to get those fixed and get those to be the new textures as well. Don't fall. Um, but yeah, we should absolutely, like the nether is such a better upgrade. I want to, okay, I'm going to come down here, but I kind of wanted to go, oh. No, maybe we'll go that way. Okay. Um, should maybe do it for Dogcraft too. Oh my gosh, I'm having a crisis. But yeah, I want Minecraft to look how it looks now. Kim! No, Kim! No! No, 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 Kim! Oh my gosh, Mars Bar, Hard as My Horse, Natalia, Moon Dust Wolf, and Wolf Lover 5050. Yes, Page, page Angel Emotes for Kim. Kim, thank you so much. Don't do that. Don't do that. You guys are really nice. I asked Maddie the other day, I was like, are, are there sub caps for Twitch? Cause I don't want people donating so many subscriptions to me. And then Maddie was like, I don't, yeah, I don't think that exists. I don't think people are like thinking about that. Um, but you guys are so sweet. Thank you, Kim. That's so kind of you. Um, okay, we're lost. We're lost, but we keep finding quartz. So are we really lost? But I, I wanted to go out cause I wanted to see if we could get close to one of those ships, but that's really a good way to die, and that's not what we're trying to do. Although, do you guys really watch Mystic Mesa for me completing projects, or do you watch it for me to die? Because, like, let's be honest with ourselves, you know? Um, okay. We're at 40. Oh, I think this is... No. This isn't where I thought we were, but we found more quartz, so... I will happily take it. This is a big pocket. <sighs> what did you figure out, Maddie? Okay. Hello. Zombie pigmen. Oh. Hi. What's happening? Uh, Wolf Girl Madeline, thank you so much for the bits. You're too kind. Um, I don't, I really don't want to hit one of you guys. Oh, here, this is where I wanted to go out. Just to see what's here. Because this is, no wait. Oh, this is where I was. Yeah, this is where we entered it from think how no how did I miss all that quartz it's a lot of quartz ow ow um <laughs> all right <laughs> um, all right. Q emotes. I still 
am working on uh, Nico's were oh my gosh look at all those fossils Nico's working on more emotes oh I don't want to get that quartz I'm too scared um, Was that one of those weird soul things? I thought I heard it. Oh gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! No. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yep, yep. Heck no! Okay. Oh, you blend in so well. It's really cool. Um, well, there's all this quartz, but it's just right at the edge of certain death. So, I am getting a call, but I can't take it right now. I'm sorry. Ooh, decline. Um, okay. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. When can I jump and live? At what point? Holding shift as if my life depends on it. Great. Uh, oh. Is that a magnet? right now oh my gosh oh my gosh it made you float I was looking at that magma cube texture was like bizarre looking I thought I was like is that just what the old magma cubes look <gasps> look at all that quartz look at all that we gotta go down there do I hear another one of those things I need to eat also, I feel like I'm gonna run out of how many arrows? I have six arrows left. There's so much quartz down there. Like, like I don't, I don't even want to go this way. I want to go get all that. This, like, we're set for quartz if we get all that. I hear another one of those things though, those souls. Which is it directly under me? Oh, I hate what's happening right now to me. It it. Oh, phantoms right there. Okay, we only have six arrows, so we have to be strategic about this. And miss. Okay, they appear to be two shots with a power five. Or, is that what I have? Yeah, keep missing, Stacy. I'm out of arrows. Wow, so much quartz. So much quartz. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? So many phantoms? Yeah, we lived though. We lived to tell the tale. Whoops. Okay. Right. This is gonna, I just don't wanna leave with this much quartz. I should just put a, um, a marker here actually what should we call this place it's like a fossil field all of the new nether updates are really making me want to make a cool nether base but I don't know uh, okay there was more I think I just missed it I'll go back 
Have I started my next book? I finished my next book. It's not gonna be out for a while, but they're working on the illustrations now. And then I guess I need to start another book after that, but I really wanna get back to posting on my YouTube channels. So I'm gonna try to do more dog craft, book craft, and vlogs is my goal. And then eventually work on another book. Um, Cause it's been a long time to work on these four Wild Rescuers books. It's been like a huge part of my life from like 2017 to now. Okay. Okay, I think I missed some, didn't I? Yeah, this whole guy. Oh, he's too deep. That's amazing. Okay. One, two, three and a half stacks of quartz. And then if we do have a fortune pick, that's just gonna be like so much more. That's really good. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to use this dense sand for the T-Rex too if we have like leftover, you know? Um, all right, I'm gonna mark this area as like, I guess fossil field. Oh, so much quartz over, like there, 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 uh, here. How did I even miss this? I don't need this much, do I? I probably don't need this much. Like, I just, I can't. I can't stop taking the quartz. I should have, you know, this is enough quartz. I probably didn't even need, didn't need to do the fortune thing. Now it's going to take even longer to get it all. I just didn't think I was going to find this much quartz on the ground anywhere in the nether. That wasn't, that wasn't what was happening. Um, but this is incredible. Um, I was hoping that there'd be like a close ship over here. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and do a waypoint. A uh, new fossil field. Uh, okay. Save. All right. Oh, wait, what? I will die here. <laughs> Nether wolves and a death. I thought I saw something that said like, I thought I saw something. What? Oh my gosh. What is that? That's the, just the marker. That scared me to death. I was like, what is this orb in front of me? I am way too jumpy. Um, there's so much quartz over here that I am dying to get. But I should just, now we can teleport here anytime we want. I have over three stacks of quartz. Um, so we should go. I just wanted to see if there was a ship we could go to. But it doesn't look like there's a ship close by. Also, I'm out of arrows. Um, so it's really not the best idea to go on one of the ships. So let's go back to the overworld. Oh, I'm underwater still. It's really like where... It, where I was. Oh, hi, Cashew. Um, all right, so now we need to go home. Ah, oh, Plum, hi, how have you been? Um, okay, let's see, I still have um, night vision, which looks weird. Let's see if we have a fortune pickaxe anywhere. Um, or bottles of enchanting. Where's Posey? I didn't look. Was Posey not there? Try on your backpack? For for a pickaxe? Uh, no, not fortune. It just has efficiency, paleontology, and unbreaking. But didn't my other paleontology pickaxe have fortune on it? Where's that guy? That's a good point. 
I don't know if that's the point you were making, but it's a good one. Where's my archaeology pickaxe? Or no. Or what was I thinking about my, pa that's my paleontology. My archaeology pickaxe had fortune on it, didn't it? Yes, fortune three! Let's go! Fortune three! You guys! Incredible! Incredible! So, in theory, in theory, eight, twelve, sixteen. You guys, the plan works. The plan comes to fruition. Do you know what? I need to grab a bunch of iron nuggets because Anvil Pet has, I just put them all back. Um, Anvil Pet has work to do. Uh, there, there you go Anvil Pet. Eat away and I will eat my sandwich. Sometimes we are smart, yeah. You guys are very smart. Um, because now we have 34 quartz. We're gonna get so many quartz this way. Ah, hello Poganip, hello Esther. Easter, it's like your name's not Esther. Hello Owl that I haven't named. Um, okay. All right. This is just the greatest thing that's ever happened. I'm so happy that we used Silk Touch and that now we're doing this. Molly, are you happy? Molly doesn't care, you guys. Molly does not care. All right. <sighs> Probably gonna have to go in a bit, but we never, yeah, we never finish what we're trying to finish in Mystic Mesa. But I hope you guys enjoy the journey. Look at that. This is so perfect. I'm so happy. I, cause I remember I got so excited when I got that pickaxe because I thought it was a paleontology pickaxe. And I was like, paleontology with fortune. I wonder if that'll get me more fossils. And then I think it was Maddie who was like, you need a paleontology pickaxe. That's an archeology span pickaxe. That's just gonna get you like pots. And it was like, oh, I'm sad. Rhea, thank you. Ray, hi. Thank you so much for subbing. All right, guys. So much quartz um, that we can just combine it all now to get our dense sand wow look at that we just got four stacks of dense sand that's so good that is so good felger hype felger great quartz for days right everyone give a round of applause for Stacy sometimes I come up with good ideas guys occasionally in Minecraft I can I can succeed I'm so happy to be streaming Mystic Mesa again and like working on projects in this world like it's so much fun to do on Twitch it's just fun to kind of like no pressure like I'm not trying to make an episode or anything it's just these are like the things that I always wanted to do in this world and I'm getting them. I just really need to do an aviary next because the bird situation is, it's untenable. Okay. Okay, and then, I mean, we have more quartz than we have sand. I had more sand, but like that's enough for us right now. That's, in that's incredible. That's truly incredible. Let's TP back to, I guess this is gonna put me on top of it. Oh, look at the clouds. Oh, it's sunrise. <gasps> Cashew at sunrise. A beautiful sight. Wow. Wow, this world is so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you, Carissa. Thank you for the bits. I love these streams too. Look at my world. Look at Mystic Mesa. Wow. Cashew loves life. Cashew's dancing to this. Let's go see if Posey died, huh? I'm hoping that she didn't. Um, okay, squid pet and ocelot pet. Come over here. Squid wolves. You guys, there's gonna be a mosasaur in here soon. Posy! A fully healed Posy. That's what we like to see. Actually, Posy, I could use you. Let me get on you. Come down here, up here, right over there. Perfect pose. Oh, it's so tempting to keep doing this because I have all of the sand now, but it's also late and I've got to go. The closing music is playing. I'll loop it, don't worry, I'll loop it. Because um, this is so satisfying now we have it all but also true that I think the Mosasaur probably could fit through one block right now it's not great no 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 swim out I, I thought that that might happen and I was I was like is it really gonna let me put a block in Posey it is turns out it, it was it was gonna just let me put a block in Posey terrible terrible I don't want to do it again I'm scared now I'm terrified poor Posey indeed Posey's really I really jinxed it by being like Posey I chose you because I'd be less sad if you died So much for the fully healed Posey. No, look, I think she she healed again. She's she's really she's doing great. Is that every other block, or is that like more than I don't know? It's awkward when it's not in a row. I can't really tell. Posey is struggling this stream. She really is. Stacy, have you ever said let's go before? I did, like five minutes ago and it was weird. I shouldn't have done it. I don't even know what it means. All right. Whoops. I'll have to mine that guy. Katie, thank you so much for subbing. Let's go sounds like a grazer term. I could not agree with you more, Bree. All right. Um, okay, I think we're gonna just have to wait because we're not gonna do this right now. But we're so close. We're gonna easily do it in the next stream. Like, look at that. Look at that. So cool. Um, all right, we'll loop it again. But I'm gonna go now. But we're gonna finish this in the next stream. I have to be. I have to say that, like, we're going to. Posey, why can't you go backwards any faster than this? What's your problem, Pose? What is your problem? Um, you guys, how about we raid iJustine? Because she's playing Animal Crossing. I don't know if she's family friendly on Twitch, but she's my friend. She plays Animal Crossing. I watched her village hunt the other day, and since we talked about Animal Crossing today, we should raid her, okay? So everyone, go over, be really nice to her. She is my friend in real life, so be on your best behavior. And let's do a cool Stacy Justine raid, okay? Who? let's see how many people we can get to raid. Right now we're at over 160, 160, you guys are the best. I miss you guys, I love you. I will see you next time. We will finish this, look at Cashew up there. He's glorious, he's so glorious. 
Uh, okay. By Rory, by Vivid, by Kim, by Honey. Kim, thank you for the, the gifted subs, really. It's so nice of you. By Tanuki, by Galactic Mermaid Adventures. Thank you for modding the stream, as always. By Potato Flake Bree. Um, all right. Oh, she's tagged family friendly. Okay, perfect. Go say hi to Justine for me, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. But until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Bye.